Welcome back to the 41st part in this Python series on the Django framework. In this one, we're going to talk about how you can run the Django development server. And of course, you probably already know one way that you can run it, but I'm going to talk about alternatives and maybe uh, some advantage or disadvantage to running it in a particular way. So let's go ahead and just get started with all the different ways that you can run that server. So in my terminal window, I'm just going to say python manage.py run server. So this is the first way that we run the development server and the one that's sort of probably the most common and uh, the easiest just to start out with because everything is sort of assumed. It just works when you start your Django project. You can just run the you can just run the server just like that and it just works. So it's really nice in the sense that it just works and for the most part it's probably going to be just fine for the majority of things that you want to do but I'm going to show you some alternatives just so that you're aware of them and there's one in particular that has a slight advantage at least in my opinion uh, with uh, a lot of the Django projects that you might be working on that might get might start to get a bit more complicated so let's go through the other the other sort of alternatives so the next one is uh, just going to refer to the manage.py file again and this is sort of like that so in the current folder, manage.py, so remember I am in the folder, uh, if I do ls, uh, you can see I've got manage.py, so you have to be in this directory still for this command to work, just like you do with python manage.py run server. And I'm going to do, uh, so dot forward slash, so current directory, manage.py, and then just run server, or whichever Django command that you want to run. So if I do that, that still works. So again, that just works sort of out of the box by default in Django, as long as you're in that folder. And, or at least as long as you can provide the path to that manage.py file, uh, as opposed to just uh, the other one where it's just, you have to be in this folder. And if I quit that, I can do another one. So I could do Python dash M, and then I could say Django, so that's sort of another equivalent. So I could do run server. So Python dash M Django run server. That's the next one. But this one sort of assumes a few things. And I'm going to get to that sort of when I talk about the next command as well, because they actually have the same problem. So if I do Django admin run server, this is actually the one that I tend to use because uh, it's the shortest, it's quickest to write in, in most cases, as well as it being, uh, it has a slight advantage in another aspect, which I'll explain in a minute. So if we run that as well, we also get the same error. So what this is saying is it's basically, uh, it, it assumes a few things when you do python manage.py run server, and to sort of uh, have a look maybe in the manage.py file to help illustrate my point, uh, this is the manage.py file, and it sort of it helps us because it assumes uh, some things about our Django project that, as a beginner uh, with Django, you may not already sort of think about or want to think about. You just want to sort of get ready uh, and get started writing your Django project, which is fair enough. But what this does is it sets the Django settings module, and it pretty much makes sure that our Python path is set to this folder. So what we need to do uh, for those uh, for those last two commands is we, we just need to set it manually. So I'm going to show you how you do that and we're going to use environment variables to do that. So we need to set the Django settings module and we need to set our Python, Python path and this is sort of hinted at us in the error. So we have environment variable sort of saying okay well something's wrong with our environment and it just says define the environment variable Django settings module. So it is actually quite helpful uh, in terms of the actual error it gives us. Uh, it does say settings are not configured, it just couldn't find them. We do have settings uh, and as you see if we do for example python python manage.py run server uh, we can actually see the settings that it's using. So it's just using tutorial.settings so it's quite helpful that it actually tells us that information along with the version, the date and some other stuff. So I'm going to quit that again, control C, and then I'm just going to set those two things. So what I can do to show the current state of a particular environment variable, or even whether it exists or not, is I can do echo 
dollar sign and then the name of the environment variable. So in this case I want to set the Django settings module. Now at this point it's going to tab autocomplete if the variable name exists but it doesn't at the moment so if I do Django settings module and just type it out manually and hit enter you can't see anything it just gives us a blank line which is just saying that there's no no variable with any contents uh, in this case so that's that's you know as as expected because that's what the error was saying we need to set it so all I'm going to do is I'm going to say export and if you're not familiar with uh, shell scripting too much export is just saying set the environment variable called uh, Django settings module now in this case I'm not using the dollar sign because that's only for when you're actually uh, printing out uh, using the echo command uh, the contents of that variable so in this case it's just the name that we want and then I'm just going to say tutorial.settings of course make sure it's spelt right otherwise it, it still won't pick it up and you'll wonder why and um, I'm going to set that and then if we do echo again echo Django settings module now we can see that we've got that data in there now what I could also do uh, just to show the environment variables in the system and show you another way to find them you could do env so env is going to show you all the environment variables but that's sort of hard to find uh, a, particular, a particular variable uh, sometimes so what I like to do instead is I do env and then I pipe that into grep so if you haven't used grep or or piping something into grep before uh, what it's saying is take the output of this command env and then we're going to limit the output uh, by a particular search term so we're only going to find uh, relevant parts of the commands output to show in the terminal window so it's easier for you to find the things that you're actually looking for which are going to match the search term that you provided so in this case I'm just going to say Django just like that and then in this case we just get one very one environment variable because that's all we have and that's it so that's fine and that's just another way of finding it I thought that I would show you that because it, it can be useful to find other var environment variables maybe if you're not sure of the contents of you know maybe the user account you're on it's called max for example or you know other information like your path variable that can be quite useful with when you're working with Python uh, just in general and uh, your working directory it's all listed here so it's quite interesting to have a look through your environment variables if you've never seen them before because there's actually quite a lot of information about the system and you know just things in general so what I need to do now is I'm going to try and run that server again so Django admin run server so now it says no module name tutorial so what's done is it's found uh, the settings module so I'm going to do echo uh, so it's found uh, the settings module tutorial.settings uh, so it knows that it needs to look for tutorial.settings but of course it can't find tutorial so it won't get to the dot settings part in this dot path and what we need to do instead is we need to allow it to find tutorial because what it can't do is find it at the moment so it does that by looking at the python path and this is an environment variable which is assumed when you're talking about the manage.py but not when you're talking about the uh, the sort of the commands that don't assume anything about your environment what I have to do now is say export python path and then I'm going to set that equal to in fact I don't know what I'm setting equal to yet so what I need to do is in the current folder so tutorial folder where I want the Django project source code to be I'm going to say tutorial uh, so print working directory so this is the path that is going to be required uh, w by this environment variable this is what Django is expecting it to have because this is where our project is stored locally on our computer so now that we've got that out of the way I'm going to say export python path again and I'm going to say equals and then that so now it knows to look in the tutorial folder in Django in documents max users so now that we've got that set it should just be able to work so we can do Django admin run server and now it just runs so that has now got all the information it needs about the environment to be able to run the server successfully 
and I'm just gonna double check that the other one works by doing python dash m django, I think that was the other one that didn't work, run server and so now that works as well. So it had the exact same problem, it just didn't make those initial assumptions about the environment because it doesn't use the manage.py and that's clear because in the command that we uh, said we didn't say manage.py in the other ones we did so it was explicitly using that manage.py file to make those assumptions for us essentially so that's all it does really so now that we've done that what I can do is I can sort of talk about the advantages of uh, using Django admin now for the most part the python manage.py run server um, you know way of running it that's perfectly fine and it's going to get you there uh, in the majority of cases really in any case but the the reason I like Django admin run server is not only because it's a little bit shorter, it's less to type, it's uh, just simply faster to actually run the development server but also because you have to state the settings module or the settings file explicitly if you're working with multiple settings files uh, and you usually do, in a larger project you tend to have production settings uh, local development settings and you also maybe have staging and testing settings as well so you have lots of different settings files and if you want to try them out or you know deploy your system to a, a computer with uh, you know say a, a testing server and you're using a, a different settings file and you want to just be able to change that module and then run the service check it works close it back down you know, it's just easier to be able to set that settings module explicitly when you're working with lots of multiple files. So really, that was the only reason, for the most part, that I use Django Admin Run Server, uh, maybe, or uh, Python-M Django Run Server, as opposed to the other ones where you're referring to manage.py. Now, in the next one, we're actually going to get back to working on the Django project itself, and we're going to actually start working on the homepage this time.